What is happening at Universal's Islands of Adventure? Well, they are doing some VelociCoaster testing. Let's see if I'm lucky enough to catch any of it. And catching a VelociCoaster test run could be as challenging as actually catching a Velociraptor. Okay, let's start making our way to one of the prime viewing spots for the coaster. So this is actually a risky video to try to make, as I do not know the work schedule of the people working on the Jurassic World VelociCoaster. I don't have their schedule. Maybe they're going to test it today. Maybe they won't. But one thing is for sure, we will find out together. Now, we are not just talking about the coaster today. If I come across anything else interesting in the park, I'll share that as well. Our first spot to check on the coaster will be behind Mythos. We can always get a good view of the coaster from behind Mythos. So we'll see if we uh, get any good shots today, though. Well, the coaster's not running right now, but I see they have some people standing guard getting ready. We'll see if it actually runs today, if I'm that lucky. Knowing me, I would not be that lucky. There's also a person standing guard on the other side of the water here over by uh, Popeyes and Bluto's barges behind me ship the olive. We'll make our way over there eventually. Now the team member stationed there, he said he didn't know if they have run any tests yet, that he just got there. So he doesn't know, but maybe it's a good sign that he's there. I tried to ask him more questions, he said that's all he could tell me. Therefore, we will continue around the park, see what else is happening, and we'll keep checking that top hat as we're walking around. And one programming note for the channel, I will not be doing a live stream this weekend. We're going back to the Orlando Former with the kids and their boyfriends this weekend, so just a fun family night. I have never ever seen the line for the Fire Eaters Grill backed up so, so long. The good word must be out about the chicken stingers. I have been getting a lot of messages from you guys that the parks have been busy this week. And to tell the truth, I only expect them to get busier as we get deeper into December. Let me illustrate that by letting you know the wait time for the Hogwarts Express is a hard 65 minute wait. And the wait time for Hagrid's on this weekday is 90 minutes. We are now going to step back behind the three broomsticks to uh, check on that VelociCoaster again. But we can see the patio is closed. Interesting, very interesting. First time I've been back here that it's been closed. I don't know, maybe that's a good sign. Maybe they have this patio closed because they're gonna test the coaster this afternoon. We'll see, for the good of the video, I hope so. I will zoom in a bit. Got a couple guys out here working on the bridge, it looks like. Maybe if I'm patient enough, I'll be rewarded for the shot of that coaster. And by the way, since we are in the Wizarding World, there is something new to show you in here, up by Hogwarts. So in addition to the Jurassic World VelociCoaster project that Universal has been working on, they have been working on a project here in the Wizarding World at Hogwarts Castle, Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey now has a new locker station open. I know it's not as exciting as the VelociCoaster, but it's something. It's something. And here is a look at the construction work happening at the VelociCoaster. It just looks like they're digging out some dirt from underneath the bridge. Got the dump truck up there. A backhoe underneath, digging the dirt and then filling up the dump truck. Not the action shot I'm hoping for today. And here is the eighth wonder of the world, the backside of lockers. For real, this is the backside of the locker bank I just showed you. I know they have tested this coaster in the daytime. I mean, you guys have sent me video evidence of it. It's just not happening right now, at least not yet. Maybe some good news, as I was talking to a team member, he said one of the project managers just walked inside and they saw some people go up on, uh, he saw some people go up on the tower. So that is a good sign. Maybe we'll get some testing here today. So now that I have that bit of information, we will still make our way to behind me ship the olive. And hopefully, like I said, they'll start that testing now that the project manager's inside. And if they do start testing, I will still move around the area here, trying to catch the testing from different angles. Interesting, there's lights on this 
You see that kind of upside down triangle that's blue right now? It was red. So those do change color. Oh, they just went to red. Very cool. I don't know if it means anything, but could mean something. Once we get back to behind me ship the olive to check on the coaster, I do have some other universal news to share with you guys. As I'm just hanging out there waiting for the coaster to hopefully go by, I'll share the news with you. Well, we've made it back here and now we play the waiting game. And while we wait, I will share some news with you that Universal sent to me. Uh, let's see, the first thing is regarding their Black Friday sale. Uh, they have extended that. Now this deal was like 40% off of a vacation package, a four day, four night vacation package with hotel accommodations at the Cabana Bay Resort. They have extended that until Friday, December 11th. So you can still get that deal, that 40% off deal, all the way through December 11th. And that package is available for travel now through April 30th, 2021. And the other bit of news that Universal sent out is in regards to their holiday tour. Now, with that tour, you get to see the Hogwarts Castle Projection Show, and they have added more dates to that tour. If you're interested in the Black Friday deal or the tour, just go to UniversalOrlando.com. And now we continue our wait. And I suppose if I get hungry or want a little snack, I'll have to hit up Wimpy's. Look at these walls just to the right of the wave turn and just to the left of Mythos. That's interesting because I thought they were going to build like a viewing section there. You can't view it if the walls are there, so not exactly sure what's happening with that area now. That is interesting that they're doing the wall there. I mean, we talked about the view from the three broomsticks, and I actually did a video on that saying that. Is there a problem with it being so close, the coaster being so close to the three broomsticks? Which, by the way, most of you said, no, it's not an issue. But um, it's interesting they would put walls there and not over by the three broomsticks. And like I said in that video, personally, I am not bothered with the coaster going right behind that three broomsticks patio. I mean, you're at a theme park. I want to see as much of this coaster from as much of the park as I can. Now, part of me wanted to do this during a live stream, might not be exciting live stream for you guys, but at least I would have someone to chat with as I'm waiting for this potential test. Here it comes. I got it. Frontline roll. Well, hot dog, it was not a waste of the day. We got one shot. Hopefully they run more. I will move around and try to get some different angles. Hang on guys, more exciting footage to follow. I hope. While I'm waiting for the second run, I guess we can talk about the timing of the opening for this, which Universal just said the summer of 2021, um, maybe closer to Memorial Day, which is what, May 31st? I know originally the third Jurassic World movie was set to come out on Memorial Day, and I'm pretty sure they would have tried to time this opening of the coaster to the opening of the new movie. We'll see what happens now that the movie industry and the theater industry is kind of uh, in a state of flux. I don't know if the third Jurassic World is gonna hit that Memorial Day mark, or if they'll push it back to the summer, and if they do, will they push back the opening of this coaster until the movie comes out? All remains to be seen. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Yep, here it comes. And there you have it, another shot 
zooming in on that heart line roll. We started with the top hat. It was beautiful. We caught a little bit of that wave turn and then into the heart line roll. Oh, I did it. I feel accomplished. Okay, now that we've got a shot or two of the coaster from this angle, I'm gonna go back to behind the three broomsticks and try to catch more of that wave turn. Forget mosey mode, let's double time it over to Hogsmeade. Although, before we get to Hogsmeade, I may pause in Jurassic Park and see if I can catch it, you know, like by that Immelman feature. Now here's one option to get a shot of the coaster. I'm on the bridge in between Jurassic Park and Hogsmeade. I get a good shot of the wave turn here. However, the other position I was at, I could see them tee up the coaster. Here, I would have no advance notice. I would just have to like, uh, and I, don't, I wouldn't have a lot of time. It's gonna move through these two circles kind of quick, so I probably wouldn't be able to catch both turns. And the other thing to consider is the fact that this is a very quiet coaster, especially with no one screaming on it. So I won't get too much of an advance notice. That thing's getting ready to spin around those wave turns. Well, I got half of it. I was texting Nikki, so I missed the first turn. I got the second one, though. And let's make our way back here to the closed patio and get a shot of the coaster. And now we'll try one more shot. We'll go back behind Mythos, try to get one more angle of that Jurassic coaster. Now it was a quick turnaround from the time I shot the coaster on the bridge. Basically all I did was walk over to the three broomsticks, have a short little chat with someone, and it came by again. So they might be speeding up the cycle. No time to talk to Gloria. I gotta get to the, the coaster. Hello Gloria. No time to talk. Personally, I don't think the lighting is as good at this angle, this time of day at least. But uh, I want to provide as many different angles as I can for you guys. I just saw it right there. And then what I think they're doing now, I think they're holding it in that launch tunnel again. There's a launch tunnel right before the top hat. So I think they're holding it there. So I'm going to hold out here just a little bit longer, hoping for another launch out of that launch tunnel and up this top hat. took a while but I got it okay guys I think that's going to do it for today I'm so pleased with myself I did get some shots of that Velocicoaster in action during the daytime it wasn't a fail video I, my backup plan was was to put a fail on the thumbnail but we did it we got some good shots happy to see it move and I can't wait to be on it and with all that being said don't miss the magic don't miss the fun thanks for watching Rich Flicks and now it's time to relax